Okay. Let's do this. Ah, big open square of land. I wonder what's coming up there. Carver, that wasn't very smart, was it? Look at him. Um, sadly, this time we are not invincible. This is going to do much chase, actually. Oof. Aveline, do something useful. Like, uh, this. Yes. Well, it's a bit too late to do anything about that now. What did she do? Ah, I was saving the fireball. Damn it. Oh well. I'm sure we'll be fine. Actually. Carver, wake up. The battle's over. We're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. Um He didn't die bravely. He died stupidly. So I'm not going to say that as much as it is the nice thing to say. Um And this seems a bit harsh. So, I guess we do not really have the time. Maybe we should grieve when we're safe. Don't speak to me of grief. This is your fault. How could you let him charge off like that? Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. 
Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you. Yeah, it's the best we can do at the moment. Our lives are more valuable to him than our prayers. Let's go. Flames. We're too late. I will. Right, another battle. Um. It used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Cool. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, Count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait. You can't just leave us here. Can I not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated, and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? No, I I would like to be a dragon, actually. You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> if only a clever tongue was all one needed. Tell me, clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you planned. Your king will not miss you, hmm? Well, yeah, he has no say on this. And our home was just destroyed. Also, yeah, he is dead. <laughs> um, no. I'm sure he'll miss his life more. <laughs> oh, you I like. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide.
It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Yeah, for no price, you just said you were okay with leaving us. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? Um, well, it wouldn't just be me, would it? Um, why can't you do it? You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered. I have an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. And are you a witch of the wilds? What is a witch of the wilds exactly? A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah, as if I had nothing better to do. You're an apostate? Yes, just like you. Well, if it wasn't clear from the fact that she arrived in dragon form. Uh, what will we be facing? I mean, she said she'd return us and just have to deliver a package. I guess we could ask her about that. How much trouble will this delivery be exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. Yeah, that was a stupid question. Uh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> If you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. Let's ask everyone else for their advice. I mean, it's not just me. I'm the de facto leader, it seems. But everyone else is in this too. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Um. Yeah. We don't have much choice. We never do. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. The, uh, that's a stupid question. Darkspawn. Stuff. I guess if you'd never played Dragon Age Origins, you wouldn't know much about this and you could ask what. But, I assume my character sh knows from having fought the dark spawn. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna make a joke about that. Um, there must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. Um. Uh, I, f I always find this such a hard thing. I'm gonna leave the decision up to her. I mean, I'm not going to decide whether her her partner needs to die. He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. Be strong, my love.
Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. They're not letting anyone into the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. They're Ferelden's just like us. Fleeing for their lives. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. No, oh, it is believable. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Okay, so Evelyn likes us. Yay! I like Evelyn. In fact, the first time I played, I didn't like her so much. But actually, the more I replayed the game, the more I started liking Evelyn. She's she's a great character. Um, How will we find anyone in this place? Yeah, it's a bit. Wesley would have been horrified to see this. Well, I'm sure he would have been, and I'm sure he would have been welcomed with open arms, being a Templar. We need to find your uncle. With any luck, he's received my letter. Okay, let's go talk to the people there. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. That's fair enough, I guess. But, on the other hand, show some humanity. 
<laughs> what is this place? Well. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted. But he's sure never taken that chance. Maybe he should. Uh, yeah, who do I talk to to get into the city? There must be someone in charge I can speak with. Yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yord. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. What a lovely chap. I thought I saw a level up arrow there, but obviously I didn't. Right. So we are allowed into the first part of town. The gates, I guess. The gallows. What's happening? Why aren't they letting anyone in? We spread the blight to come here. Did we have? Good was man. Mostly based out of the Lothering Chantry. I don't remember ever seeing him there. He served elsewhere. He was coming to find me at Ostagar. Were you familiar with every Templar in Lothering? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? Yes, especially with that big staff you always carry around. Has been sealed. You cannot enter. It's a bow. Are you a merchant? Can you take us with you? No and no. Right, let's uh, get our ticket in. What you want? Money. I can pay you. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. Oh, but I'm spunky and I've got a can-do attitude. Surely you can use that. Um... I'm sure he would. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You can let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days. They just got here. That's it. We're carving our way out of here. Men? I knew this. You know, that blonde man looks like he's been infected a bit. Let's see. Or maybe that's a really light tattoo. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna just go throw this here. And. Yeah, why not?
Oh, there's more. Of course. The magical... Appearing ninja enemies. I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? Don't look now, but I think that's our man. Leandra! Damn, girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it, and Drastic guide him. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Why not? Would it help if I said you were my favorite uncle? <laughs> It'd make me feel better, but that's about it. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Well, it looks like Mother is, but I'm not. So, we're poor? Oh no. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. I think nice place is overestimating a bit, but uh, you've got a place, at least. Uh, no, we can't just leave. There's nowhere to go. Don't have any money to buy a return ticket, so that's a stupid question. Um, it does sound like fun. I mean, oh, we definitely can't stay here. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt for a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. A year really isn't that long. Honestly. And you'd have a job. I'm sure we'll be free and clear before we know it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Thenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. Yeah, what does Bethany think about all this? Because she, I'm just making decisions for the family here. What do you think about this, Bethany? We've come this far. I don't care who we work for. As long as it means we don't have to go back. Good girl. Uh, tell me about them. 
What kind of man is this Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. It's fair enough. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. That's comforting. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. I can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. 